Hey there guys, Sweet Tooth here, and welcome to another installment of Explain His Magic. Today, we're going to take a look at the 17th episode of the second season, Hearts and Hoofs Day. Oh. Raising up the voice so that we Okay, so we start off this episode with the single most heartwarming thing you will ever see in your life. Free Phillies giving a giant cardboard heart for the teacher that they love so much. I think my operation from the last episode has disabled my emotions for the time being. But the love is there. Really. episode is gonna take a hypocritical approach for the cutie microsaders. I mean, think about it. Here they are trying to set up Cheryl Lee and Big Matt together, so, but um, they don't have any um, quote-unquote stallion friends of their own to know the passion, the feelings, the love that only two fillies and two fillies alone can bring together. I'm just saying. It's nice that these poor unfortunate souls are at least comfortable with just being good friends. Something that Frozen will teach us two years later. Or is that siblings? I don't care. Well, at least from all this dragging on for what will obviously happen, we do get this reaction. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Oh, sweetie belle, I love you. Squeaky voice. That leads to some real comedic moments. But you in general, you're not really doing anything for me. Seriously, why haven't you, uh, asked Button Mash out yet? I'm sure he'll get you a part in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX abridged. But Cupid's hour is thrown, for them at least, as Twilight tells them about how Hearts and Hoops they started with a love potion. I could go on all day myself with this intriguing tale, but how can I think with these images in my face? Well, our hearts are locked. And my hooves are down. So, let's make this a day to remember. So the cutie mark crusaders conjure up a love potion made from every weird ingredient to make into powerful elixirs known to man that is humanely possible. And set up the proposal part two. The victims decide to humor the kids by drinking their punch. Yes, I wish I could uh, punch this plot right now. <laughs> and of course, it's love at first sight. So, Getting to know your spouse, learning from them, getting away from filling out the blanks yourself, so that way you two have your own likes and dislikes. But either way, your love is all that matters. You will live through your whole lives together, happily. Who needs that when you got a love potion 2012? You better order them now while supplies last. Oh, what? You want a sample of this magnificent product? Well, just take a look at these love birds and see for yourself how I make magnificent product at work. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. My career is over. And that is because of the love potion actually being a love poison. <laughs> so we can blame dyslexia for this one, huh? It's like mixing ask with axe. I guess a world about teaching young fillies and the right way to kick apples off trees will bring the apocalypse into this. I guess. So, Twilight can't teach young fillies the way of learning things, huh? And Applejack certainly can't kick down apple trees for, uh, the core. 
That, that's a real intriguing thought there. You know what? I'm gonna go ask them about that real quick. However, there is an antidote to the potion poison. Dang it! The love field cap will have to be separated for one full hour, and only then will everything go back to the way it was. I smell shenanigans at play. This calls for the proper shady Google music! As you would expect, Shirley and Big Mac go back to normal. Aw, oh, shame! I wanted to see them over at more! We're sorry that we tried to force you guys to love one another like a typical Disney movie! We learned that love should come naturally, and not like every other sappy movie ever made. And Mamma Mia! Love should be with every pony, and not just with a bunch of Steven Gutenbergs. We're sorry! <laughs> You're expelled. Da, 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 da. No, the kid's gonna miss a punishment while the two friends go off in the most scary, while well, not so scary, way to end an episode. Especially for Friendship as Magic standards. Since you three are doing all of his chores, Big Mac and I thought we'd have a picnic at the gazebo. Ready, sugar bear? Yep, pumpkin pie. <gasps> no! No. No! <laughs> this confirms it for us all! Love kills ponies! I mean, think about it! Broken candy stores, housing relocation, jokes stating that marriage is like being at the bottom of a pit! No ponies are feelable enough! You told me right that audience there! We must force the government to cancel! The whole world! The United Nations must fall down into this! <laughs> you wait later! You wait later! 